Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today I am using this little Too Faced palette called I Believe in Pink. And it does believe in a lot of pink, let me just say. It's like, bam, a palette of pink. So I decided to try to do this for Valentine's Day. I thought the colors were pretty. They're soft. This would be my daytime Valentine's Day look because y'all know I like a lot more drama for evening. So how did the colors do? I think they went on really well with the exception of this color. Wish for it. Wish for it and me just could not get along. It was patchy. I tried swirling. I tried patting and it just was blotchy. The rest of the colors in here I really liked. The only one I didn't use was Snow Girl, but everything else I used and it went on fantastic. So I did like trying to do a little bit of a lighter eye for me because, well, if it doesn't have a lot of black in it, then I'm not sure what to do. But I pulled it off, I think. I pulled it off. So anyways, I did like using this little palette and with all the little hearts, did that not scream Valentine's Day to you? It screamed it to me. It said, we're so in love with Too Faced. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see how I created this eye look, then you're in the right place. So stay okay, I'm tuned. I'm going to try to squeeze in one more Valentine's Day look. Hopefully before Valentine's Day. If I release it afterwards, just keep the month of love going. Just keep it going. Okay, so I thought, you know, to go with the pink theme, we would use Too Faced, I believe in pink. This came out around Christmas or before Christmas. And it's got some beautimous pinks here. So we'll see what we can't create today with some beautimous pinks. And that is an official word. I'm sure of it. Just might not be in anyone else's dictionary but mine. So if I look over bronze this morning, I am. I am tired, very tired. And so I decided that I was going to pick up a bronzer thinking it was a powder. And then I had to try to buff out all of the bronzer because it took me a while or a moment to see on my face that what was happening. And I'm so glad I, I almost wish I could have captured that look. Whew. Okay, so we're starting out with some mink pink all over the lid now we're gonna go in with some pink Christmas and that's gonna kind of go above my crease I'm bringing Roscoe in he hasn't made an appearance in a long time so Roscoe is my little love he follows me everywhere he has his own car seat and stroller. Um, his little car seat helps his little fat crooked legs be able to sit up higher so he could see out the window. And recently, Rob took him to the airport and when he picked me up, and so Roscoe hadn't seen me for a week, and as soon as I said, hello, Betty, he came running at me like, no tomorrow. So this is my little guy that just makes my heart sing. Not that my other ones don't, but he's really loyal. And if, if you can hear him make, make that noise when I'm talking to him, that he does that a lot. He says, that's the way I talk back to my mommy because I love her, huh, Betty? Okay, say goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye, YouTube. He was sitting up underneath my, curled up underneath my leg, so I felt like he needed to do a YouTube appearance. Okay, so now we're gonna pick up the color Spoiled Rotten. And that's gonna be our crease color, and who doesn't like to be Spoiled Rotten? Okay, now we're gonna darken this eye up with some Wish For It. Now for 
some reason this is looking a bit patchy. I'm not sure if it's picking up as patchy on camera. Let's try patting it off. Okay, patting it on didn't really help either. So I may have to go with a bit of a darker color to get in that patchy area. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, so I had done my bronzer ahead of time and I'm just gonna pick up this pink poinsettia. Because it's dark, we're gonna start back here and move our way up till we know for sure how dark it's gonna be. That wasn't bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in, I think, with the pink Christmas. Okay, hopefully that smoothed that out a bit. And for some reason, I'm bouncing around again this morning. So I'm going to pick up this color from Marc Jacobs called Mist Me. which is a nice lilac color. I think I'm gonna do kind of a mini half cut crease. And with my little mini half cut crease, I'm gonna pick up this pink rink. I'm going to pick back up the Spoiled Rotten and just kind of go on the edge. I'm going to pick up some Spoiled Rotten on a little flat smudgy brush and that's obviously very technical. Smudgy brush. I mean you pick up the latest and the new hip words to use. Smudgy brush is it. I'm going to pick up some Wish For It on my smudgy brush. Just kind of go on the outside a little bit. Now I'm confused. I'm not sure if I want to do a liquid eyeliner or just a regular kind of eyeliner and have it be a little smudgy out. Another technical term, smudgy out. I'm going to try this Sephora Waterproof. I haven't used this in a while. That eyeliner is just a little dried out, I think. Gotta love the black on my face. Okay, so I went with a natural mascara today not a natural mascara i went with just regular mascara i'm not going to put on any false eyelashes i've wore false eyelashes way too much this week and my eyes are not happy about it so don't you like how i also applied mascara to my face it looks like i've just been shot with a paintball gun that happens to be black i was not shot with the paintball gun i just don't know how to put on mascara very well and I'm okay with it. I go, I haven't done a lot of mistakes lately with it. So, you know, I guess I was bound and determined to look like I got shot with a paintball gun. Okay, we're gonna use Mirami, which is from Dose of Colors for our highlighter. As the paint over there is drying. No clue what color that is. No, we're not using that one either. That needs to be sharpened. Okay, so now let's try Morphe. This one is in Showstopper. This one does not need to be, I didn't even finish that sentence. This one does not need to be sharpened. However, holy crud, this is bright showstopper looks like barbie doll okay so we got us some barbie doll color lips 
Let's get some Too Faced Melted Matte on top. This one is called Freshly Baked. And then on top of some freshly baked because it's just not enough, we're gonna use the Litter Vice Special Effects from Urban Decay. Because a lip isn't a lip until we have some glitter or sparkle or shine. Ooh, this picked up some green. All right, I'm gonna go try to do something with my hair and we'll go from there. Thank How you so much that? for watching this video using the Too Faced I Believe in Pink. Still hoping that I got this up for Valentine's Day, but if I didn't, then I tried. I tried, what can I say? I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time, bye.